Hi guys, it's Nick Varios and this is Fashion School with Nick Varios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to drape a basic pencil skirt. Yay! Alright, before we get the drape, you're going to need some supplies. What supplies do you need? Well, I'm going to tell you. Let's start with scissors, fabric shears. Then you're going to need measuring tape. You're also going to need a clear ruler. I like this one with all the numbers. You're also going to need a pencil, number two pencil, preferably. Then you're also going to need a Sharpie, black Sharpie marker. Finally, and most importantly, you're going to need muslin. Muslin is unbleached cotton and we drape in the muslin, okay? Now you're going to need to cut two pieces of muslin and they're going to look like rectangles. One will represent the front of the skirt and one will represent the back. Each rectangle should be 18 wide by 26 inches long, kind of like this, okay? So 18 wide, 26 long. Two pieces right next to each other, all right? And now I think we're ready. First, before draping, we're going to prep the muslin. Okay, so now we're going to prep the muslin. And usually you want to do this with pencil. You need your ruler, but in order for you guys to really see what I'm doing, I'm going to use a marker, a sharpie, okay? So here we go. You want to draw a one inch line away from one of the edges of the rectangle of muslins that you cut, okay? So right now, I'm going to draw that line on one of the muslins and that is going to be your center front grain line, okay? And then on the other side, on the other muslin, you're going to also draw a one inch line away from the edge and that will be your what? The center back grain line. One inch away from the edge, just like that, okay? now. Second step is you're gonna measure from the top of your muslin, you're gonna measure 10 inches down. So get your measuring tape, measure 10 inches down, just like this, and get your Sharpie or your pencil, mark it, and then you're gonna draw a straight line perpendicular to that one inch center front line. Just like that, do the same for the other muslin that you cut. Again, 10 inches down from the top. Just like that. Now those lines, that will represent the hip, okay? Bear with me, you'll totally understand what I'm talking about. And now, I think we're ready to drape our pencil skirt. Okay, so we've prepped our muslin, we're getting ready to drape our pencil skirt. I've got my form, I've got my pins, my pin cushion, I've got my prep muslin, so let's start. Okay, so here's our center front one inch grain line. You want to match that up to the center front of your form and see this line right here that we drew? That matches to your hip, okay? So you want to make sure you match and match right at the center front and so you want to pin. First start with there, so pin right there so you know it's in there. Hunker it down. Now, if you remember from one of my first draping lessons on how to properly pin, just go look at that. I think it's in my draping a basic bodice, okay? How to properly pin. Okay, you don't want to stab it. And I like to pin about every inch, maybe every inch and a half, just go down. Like right here to the bottom of the form. You can feel out where the center front is right there and right there. And then now you want to do your hip. And why we drew this line is because we want to keep the skirt balanced and parallel to the floor so it's not uneven. See, if we didn't have this line and we were going to pin, how do you know that it's balanced? And so this makes it all unbalanced. So by having that line, it keeps it balanced. So what you want to do is you want to smooth to the side seam of your form. How do you know what the side seam is? Right here, see? Okay, so you want to smooth all the way to there. Now, one mistake a lot of people make is that you just smooth right there and then pin. This makes it too tight. You want to add a little bit of ease, okay? So when you add the ease, you add a little bit of movement. If you don't and it's like this, then the skirt is like, I can't walk in it, okay? Sometimes it's very sexy, but you want to add the ease. So what you do is you smooth it to the side seam and then watch. You bring it back by pinching it just a little bit, just like that, that's it. You don't want to pinch much, just go like this. And after you do that, now you can pin the side seam. See, you've added the ease, just a little bit of ease right there. Now continue pinning your hip, 
just like that. You see? Now, some of you may ask, why am I only draping half of a skirt? It's because this skirt, this pencil skirt, is symmetrical, so it's the same. The right side is the same as the left side. So you only have to drape one side, and usually we drape the right side of the form, which is actually the left side when you're looking at it, okay? So now the side seam, well, what do you do? How do you drape it? A lot of people, they just kind of pull. You don't want to do that, okay? You're forcing it. You see, you're forcing it. You just want to smooth it. So just smooth it, smooth it, smooth it with your hands. You don't want to pull. Just smooth it until it's comfortable. See right there, and you can kind of see the ridges of the side seam. So then, now that you've smoothed it, you don't want to go like this. See, right there. What is that muslin telling you? Uh-uh, you're pulling, too muchy. Okay, you wanna just smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay, once you've done that, now you can pin your side seam. So just pin, pin, do it at an angle. Keep pinning right here. Okay, all right, you got it. And now you wonder, well, what is up with this? What's happening here? That becomes your dart. See, that's the excess. Now, people want to know, well, how do I know where to put it? You put it where the princess seam is. How do you find where that princess seam? Well, you find it with your marker or pencil. First, mark your waist, and then watch. There's your princess seam. Mark that princess seam. That is the first dart leg of your dart. So watch. That guides you. You take that, and you fold it just like that. And voila, there's your dart. So now pin right there. Pin right here. Okay, and that's your dart. So finish off marking your waist right there. Do you see that? Okay, now a lot of times you want to clip that area. Do you see a little bit of pulling? So what you do is go like this. You just clip and that relaxes a little bit little bit. If you want, you can just smooth it like that, and there you go. All right, finally, just marking the side seam. So here's the side seam. Now here's a neat trick, and you can do it with your pencil. I call it rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. It's not a very formal fashion draping term, but you know, you can steal that from me. See, you just rub it, and you get your side seam. If you want, you can continue down the line. If you want, you can use the metal ridge of your form like that. And then just figure out what your hem is. I'm gonna do it with a marker so you can see. And I'm gonna figure out this first ridge right here as my hem. So I'm just gonna lightly mark it. And that's the hem of my skirt. And to finish off your front drape, just trim off a little bit of the excess. So you don't have all this, see? Cause you don't need this. Just trim it right there. Um, I think we're good. We're ready to drape the back. Now that we've draped the front, we just have to finish by draping the back of your pencil skirt. So here's your back. It's basically the same steps. And again, because the skirt is symmetrical, same on the right, same on the left, you only have to drape one side. So take your prepared muslin, remember you had your center back grain line right here, and then you had your hip line, what do you do? You match it up, match up the center back right there. So bring it over here and then match it at the hip and then pin. So I'm gonna pin right here. I'm gonna pin right here. Continue pinning in the center back. I like to pin, like I've said before, about an inch to an inch and a half in space. That makes sure that the muslin stays on the form, okay? All right, so we've done that. Now the hip, you wanna smooth over. See, lift it up. Make sure that this matches the hip line on your form and then you wanna smooth it over to the side seam. But don't forget, don't do it just tight, tight, tight. You wanna what? Add ease, because especially in the booty, in the back, you want a little bit of ease. So smooth over when it's tight, but then go like this, bring it back, and pinch, pinch about a quarter to half an inch of ease. Okay, see that pinch right there? Now you can pin your hip area to the side seam right here. Okay, we've got our ease, so this is good. We've got the ease there. And then now the side seam, remember what I said? You wanna smooth, okay? You don't wanna pull. You want, look, look, see? Look, when I pull, watch, it's telling you, uh-uh. You wanna just smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. A nice smooth, and then now pin your side seam. So I'm pinning. 
basically what I did to the front, and you do it to the back, okay? And because it's a pencil skirt, it's very fitted. It's a fitted skirt, okay? Now, we've got this. What is this? It's the dart. And how do we figure out the dart? You know, because a lot of people are like, well, I'm just going to put it here. No, mm -mm. wrong. Ah. Oh, I'm just going to put it here. Ah. <laughs> what you want to do is put it where the princess seam is. All right, and how do you figure that? Well, you find it. You find it with your Sharpie or pencil. So I mark, mark, mark. Here's the princess seam. Do you see that? And that's the first dart leg of my dart. So then I take all this excess, I pinch into here, smooth, see with my fingers, and I just fold all the excess in there, fold it in there, and now I have my back dart. So then I pin and I mark that. So watch, look, I'm gonna open this up. That's my back dart right there, see? It'll come down to there, comes to here, and then I'm just gonna lightly just pin this dart back. Okay, see? Look, there's the dart. <laughs> and now just finish pinning your waist right here. Now I wanna show you something. You notice here just a little bit of tension and we do that with the release with clipping. So watch, you see the tension? We release it. And now it breathes. I call that the clip and ah. <laughs> Okay, so now we pin it and finally we mark. So we mark, finish marking the waist and the side seam. Remember my trick, get your pencil and rub a dub dub. See, you rub, you rub, you rub. Go all the way down, you rub, rub, rub. All right, figure out where the hem is. Basically the same as the other skirt. Mark it. I'm gonna mark it right here. Hi. All right, and then now I'm just gonna finish it off. So watch, I'm gonna take out all this excess right here, cut that out. Okay, I've cut that out. And then, just to make it pretty for you guys, watch, I'm gonna do this. I'm taking out the pins from the side seam of my drape in the back, got it? And then put them together. So hold your front and your back, put your pins, and then pin the side seam. It's like you're sewing it, but with the pins. In fashion school, we usually do this just to show how the drape would look like, okay? So I'm pinning, pinning, and see, because it's a pencil skirt, I'm coming very close to the body, all right? So there I go. But notice there's still ease here. And then I'm just gonna cut this out. Leave a little bit of room for seam allowance, but I'm just gonna cut it out to make it look good for you guys. And now I think, yep, we've got a pencil skirt. Thanks for watching Fashion School with Nick Varios. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them all below. And don't forget, for more Nick tips and tricks, get my book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com.